Hello, today we're going to walk through creating an automated cumulative flow diagram for your ServiceNow environment. Instead of building this manually in Excel, we're going to automate it in Explore Analytics. That way it will update live as you complete your work. We'll set up this report once and then publish it to ServiceNow's dashboard so the stakeholders can track progress on your development in real time. First, we're going to log into Explore Analytics and we're going to create a new view to create a status report on the table that stores our development tasks. So I'm going to select the ServiceNow data source. Now you could use the release task table, but uh, for this example we're going to use the story table, uh, assuming that you're using the Scrum release management. So I've selected that I'm building a view against the story, and I'm going to call this uh, my current breakdown of tasks. We're going to create this as a pivot view initially. Right now we're just going to set up the report to gather the data on a regular schedule. As soon as I click finish, we're going to get a live report and we're going to want to break this down by how many tasks are open in each state. So it's currently showing me how many current tasks there are. And I'm going to drag the state into the rows so that now we're, uh, we're showing this by state and I want to show only the states that our, in, our environment is actively using, so I'm going to filter on state. Now in addition to these states, I also want to be able to uh, group this by release, so I'm going to grab the release here and put this there. So now I can see for each release what the state are of the stories that are involved. Now right now it's showing me the count of how many stories are involved in each. For Scrum, you're going to want to use points rather than the number of tasks. So I'm going to drag the points field into the values and have it sum it up and remove the count. So now I can see for each release how many points are in each state. And I'm going to exclude any stories that aren't associated to a release. This is the current report, but for my cumulative flow diagram, I'm going to want to track how this changes day to day. So what I'm going to do is go to File and select Track Trend. What this is going to do is it's going to automatically take that live report showing what's going on right now and it's going to save this to this table that I'm creating right here on a particular schedule. So I'm going to have it go weekly on weekdays to track what the current status is. So every day that's a working day we're going to save how many points are in each stage and we're going to use that to report against. And as soon as I click finish that, that job is going to be scheduled and it's going to go at the beginning of the day tomorrow. Now once we've set this job up to run, it's going to automatically populate that on the table that we've created. So now we can create the cumulative flow diagram on that table as the job runs. So I'm going to go create a new report against the Explore data source, which is local to Explore Analytics, where we're storing the results of this job we just scheduled. And we're going to select the My Current Breakdown of Tasks trend table, which we've created. Now in the real world it may take a few days for this to populate with data, but I've run the job uh, to gather some of that data so you can see what it looks like. And I'm going to create a new report called Cumulative, Cumulative Flow Diagram View. And in this case I'm going to create it as a chart so that we can kind of see visually how that changes over time. And I'm going to click Finish and select the Timeline Report. Now the date field has been added to the report we were dealing with earlier. That represents the day that the job ran, so which day of work this was capturing. And rather than grouping it by year, I wanted to group by date. And instead of showing me the count of how many uh, rows were captured, I want to get the total points uh, for each day. And I also want to categorize it by the state. And just for uh, easy viewing, I'm going to switch this to be an area report so that I can see cumulatively, you know, from point to point, how the number of points in each release uh, moves from state to state. 
Now in addition, because we captured the release, I could filter this report to show me one release versus another, or I can really make this interactive for the viewers by selecting the release as what we call an animation, which allows them to have a drop down so they can see Q1 release versus Q2 release versus Q3 release and see how those different releases look uh, in terms of their data. So in just a few clicks, we've created a live report showing the amount of tasks uh, of stories in each status. And we've also created a trend to show us that cumulative flow over time. Now we're going to take this to the real next step, which is we're going to create a dashboard in ServiceNow for stakeholders to be able to look and see this information themselves. So I'm going to go to Save File, Publish, and I'm going to have this be a live view, and I'm going to publish it to the ServiceNow environment's dashboard. I'm also going to go back to the previous report and publish that as well, and I'll show you why in a moment. So we'll click Publish, we'll say Publish to Service Now, and we'll publish this as well. So now I'm going to switch over to my ServiceNow uh, environment, and you'll see I have a dashboard that already has some uh, project-related information, and I'm going to click the Add Content button that's native to ServiceNow, and select Explore Analytics, and look for my current breakdown of tasks. And I'm also going to look for the cumulative uh, diagram flow, which I'm going to add on the right. So now you can see that using the ServiceNow dashboard, I have both the current status of tasks, so I can easily see what's going on right now, as well as that cumulative flow of those tasks over time. And the user who comes and sees this dashboard can even drill through to details and see, oh, this is the story worth six points that's currently ready, and even open that up to actually view the, the information within ServiceNow and update it and, and move it along. So within Explore Analytics, you now have these live reports. Now, you're not going to have to prepare these ever again. You're not going to have to update the data or do any further work. These are both reports that are updating on a regular basis. The one on the left is live. The other one is trended daily. And that's going to allow you to really easily show that information in a way that's fully interactive for the viewers, where they can move through the time, they can you know, look and see just how the amount of completed tasks has grown, etc., and drill through to the data that sits below that, as we saw before. Thanks for joining us. I hope this helps you really focus away from having to spend a lot of time building manual status reports and instead shift your focus to actually delivering that valuable development work to your leadership.